Hello, today we're looking at Debian 8.8. .8. It's the latest release of Debian JC and it's exciting. I'm running the GNOME desktop interface for this video. As you can see, there's like two black stripes here next to my, next to the system and it's simply because I couldn't get the case editions of VirtuBox to work correctly, but it's a normal thing. The main thing about Debian is it's stable because of so many different operating systems it's built on, like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, like all the Ubuntu flavors. So indirectly it is like elementary and all the good stuff, many of the good OS is based on Debian. So Debian should be stable. It's not the newest stuff, but it's the stable stuff. And that's what we need for many, for many things. So let's have a look. As you can see, I went with the GNOME because GNOME started to feel like the, feel like the big daddy of all the desktop interfaces which everything is being based on. There's many different desktop interfaces which you can use for Debian 8.8, .8, but I went with the one which got most of the potential at the moment. So, yes, a background, as you can see, it's normal GNOME stuff. But you can change the background in the lock screen here. Let's take this one for the sake of the video. It's a pretty nice deal. Notifications, you can manage your notifications here. As you can see, it's pretty much normal stuff, so I don't want to go too too long in the system settings because if you're familiar with no, this is all normal. I already checked there's nothing jumping yet here with this extraordinary but let's go to the details. But if you want to have a thorough look at everything of the system settings look please look at it in the description of this video. Because I made another video on my other channel where I only use background music and I went for each one of the system settings one by one by one. As you can see, I'm running this in VirtualBox with two gigabytes of RAM, a one core i5 system, graphics as you can see here, Gallium 0.4, Debian, JC 8.8, it is not written here, but it's 8.8, .8. and yeah. Let's open up the terminal quickly. Start the terminal, and look at the Kernel, so it's kernel 3.16, so it's it's stable, it's not the news, and that's not the point of Debian, it's stability, and this version of Debian 8.8 .8 is nothing different in that respect, because it's stable, it's solid, it's reliable, love it. Here's the volume. Via settings, wireless, browser here, power settings, admin, lockout. It's another gateway shortcut to the system settings here. You can lock the screen, let me lock the screen quickly. And yes, to off. As even though I'm based in Russia, I just changed the time to an English, to an English um, layout. Because many times, if I put in Rust, because I'm based in Rust, even though I'm South African, it will all be, there will be some things that's only in Russian and not in English, which is not ideal to make videos. So if we add like a new one, and we say St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg. Rasa, edit here, and, oh, and this add join this person to Africa quickly. This is a good idea what's going on. And let's see if we can remove like this one because I don't want two of them, it's really not needed. So yes, yeah, pretty simple alarm, you can set alarm, stop. Um, I like all the settings, I like all these options. 
but if you go to activities, use your favorite panel. Of course, it makes sense to take it out and put it like on a dock on the bottom or on the left. You will have a bit of a look at the extensions also, but use of files. It's normal GNOME files 3.40, so it's not the latest, but it's stable. And as I said before, that is what they've been is all about stability. Many services are running it and many distros is based on it because it's stable. And as you can see, it's not the latest version of LibreOffice, also 4.3. It's not the latest version of, of Firefox, also because it's not really the point of that yet. <laughs> but it's a very nice system to run. To run GNOME on because it looks stable, it's good, it's any desktop in the f interface just works for me because it's so, so stable and I love it and I can't get past that word stable. And if it wasn't as stable as it was, many of our current operating systems could also not be like this. It's a good foundation, as you can see, it's very low on memory and CPU is decent and just running. And if we quickly go to the other one and let's go to tweaks. As you can see here, you can tweak your system on the desktop. You can so hold up there also do anything you want. It's quite nice. Actually, uh, power, top bar, you can say so date, quite nice. If you go here to, you can add and mix it, maximize and minimize buttons, this is quite cool. It's one thing I really didn't like about GNOME until somebody told me, hey bro, you can actually just edit there. This, this. That's because I like my maximize and minimize buttons. I think it's quite needed. Yeah, so this is my look at Debian 8.8 .8 running on the GNOME desktop interface. Thank you for watching and goodbye.